In the Hudson Valley, there are several species of amphibians that live in the forest, mostly underground, and they breed in vernal pools in late winter and early spring. These are species of conservation concern in New York and include spotted salamander, Jefferson blue spotted salamander hybrid, and wood frog. When they migrate to vernal pools from their overwintering habitat in the forest, they often encounter roads and driveways where mortality from vehicles can be high. So the Hudson River Estuary Program started the Amphibian Migrations and Road Crossings Project, and it was to address this mortality of amphibians that are crossing roads during their seasonal migrations. And again, those happen usually in late March, early April. They are hunkered down basically until the air temperature starts to warm up and the ground thaws. And so once those conditions start to align and we get a good rainy night, that's usually when they start moving because they need to move in wet conditions. We'll get movements of hundreds if not thousands of amphibians. Um, and some of them travel as far as a quarter of a mile. So you can imagine if you're only a seven inch salamander or you're a small wood frog, moving a quarter of a mile is quite a long distance. And there's a good chance you're going to encounter um, some roads on the way. Habitat loss, um, road mortality, those have both been identified as threats to amphibians. Amphibians globally, we know, are facing a lot of challenges and are in decline. And in the United States, the U.S. Geological Survey has attributed um, land use change and the associated habitat um, loss and degradation to amphibian declines in the United States. And um, they also consider climate change to be a factor, which is understandable because these species are so dependent on these seasonally flooded wetlands. There's no way the DEC or any conservation organization could ever have enough staff to cover the entire Hudson Valley on these few nights every spring to see where migrations are happening. But by having hundreds of volunteers driving around, trying to find migration crossings, we're learning a lot more about where these are happening so that we can learn where is mortality high and where do we really need volunteers or road closures or some other mechanism to try to make sure that we're reducing mortality and we're saving these local populations. My name is Peter Stewart. I'm a local on Red Hook and I'm volunteering tonight along with dozens of other people uh, helping salamanders cross the road. Well, nights like this, as you just saw, uh, it's a thaw. They're coming out to go to their ponds, lay their eggs. And uh, with the invention of human traffic, we need to help them. So I've been patrolling this road tonight uh, for about 30 minutes. Uh, so far, I've gotten one uh, spotted salamander, but a couple, a couple little frogs didn't make it so far. In many communities in the Hudson Valley, residents uh, and local government officials are concerned about small wetland protection because wetlands that are small in size generally are not protected by state and federal regulations. And we've been trying really hard to educate communities about the importance of vernal pools, not just for protection and conservation of the pools themselves, but also adequate forest habitat around them. Because if a community cares about uh, spotted salamanders and wood frogs and other species that breed in the pools, it's really important that they also protect the non-breeding habitat, which is forests like, like I'm standing in. Um, so we've really been trying to educate land use decision makers about the importance of habitat connectivity between forests and wetlands, um, the importance of knowing where your vernal pools are so you can plan proactively and educate landowners about ways they can steward uh, their vernal pools better and make sure they're healthy, viable breeding habitat for amphibians. And eventually, once we have a really solid body of data, we can use that to make better decisions. Much like the Atlantic sturgeon is a symbol of a healthy Hudson River, amphibians like spotted salamander and wood frog are signs of a healthy estuary watershed. We continue to learn about forests, wetlands, and the whole estuary ecosystem through the dedication and help of our amazing volunteers. Good to know that these volunteers are spending time in the rain, in the dark, in less than favorable conditions, and they're willing to do that to help these species that really require conservation attention to make sure we have them to enjoy for future generations. I get very close with nature, and that's what makes it uh, fantastic. Um, it, right up and personal with them. I'm helping a good cause um, and I just love being a part. It, it's a great community uh, of volunteers.